I'm going to show you the most broken way to get XP that I found so far. So this is going to be a mid game way to farm XP. If you need an early game way to farm XP, like level five through 15 or something, then you can check the description of this video. I'll link for my previous one for lower levels. But this one's going to be once you can get to Bacal and or Batal, whatever it's called. I mean, and uh, you can get there anytime you want. And I'll have a link in the description of this video for how to get there. You can get into a cart and just go right through the gate at the checkpoint. So there's a checkpoint right here. And you get through that, and then you can get into this whole region right here. Once you do that, you're good to go. You just got to get all the way to the capital at least once. And then from there, we're all set. So at the capital, there's a section of town right here. And uh, the Mercantile Ward. And we just need to be able to go to Isaac's Wares and the Flagship Inn. So the Isaac's Wares is going to be right over here. And you'll go over to this guy, and you're going to buy a certain item. So inside of here, he has the mundane camping kits and you're gonna buy three of these which is all he'll have and then you're going to go back over to the inn over here and you're gonna sit on a bench and make a whole day pass and keep buying until you have like 10 or something like that right here you can sit and pass time if you don't know how to do that it just sits at the bottom right says all the buttons and you're gonna pass time till the day passes and then go buy more and buy more and buy more and then you're going to distribute them amongst your party you can see they're heavy heavy average like i've already given them a bunch uh you personally don't want to get super heavy just because you don't it's inconvenient makes it take a long time to get places now as for pawns to take with you on this i would recommend a healer and two melee guys because there's one group of enemies that we fight that's made of stone and so magic's not that great and um rangers are terrible i should honestly change classes i'm just kind of having fun playing ranger so realistically you don't want your your personal class to be a ranger you'd rather it be like three melee guys and a, and a mage just so the mage can heal everybody uh and that should be good enough but you can try whatever combination of of party members that you want that's just what i'm running right now that's what i've kind of working with on this then after that, we're going to do something really, really interesting. You need to be aware of something. So there's like a mock fast travel in this place. So if you head over here to the right when you leave town, you can climb up this weird staircase here. And then once you get to the top of this thing, there's like this weird lift system. I don't know. Not even a lift. I don't know what to call it. So you get up here and there's this thing. You need to be aware of this thing. It's so helpful for farming XP. So we're going to go here. Uh, before you get on it, you definitely want to say come to me for your pawns because if they don't come with you They'll run along the ground and fight enemies and get killed and stuff and then you won't be able to revive them So uh, you'll just lose them. So make sure they actually get on and then you just turn the crank You don't have to press anything. It'll go slowly, but if you spin on whatever controls it has for mouse and keyboard, but um, You can also swap with pawn which is hilarious and let them do it instead, which is kind of funny uh, But you just need to move this thing which lets you travel way faster. So we're trying to get to uh, over there, it takes us to that one that I'm looking at. And then from there, we'll get over to a different one. But first, I'm just going to go ahead and go over that one. I'm going to skip ahead now because even when you're going fast... I mean, this guy's going slow as hell. It's better if you do it yourself. But if you go fast, it still takes like a minute or so to get across. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to once we're across. All right. Once you get there, you'll get off this one. You'll head over here. Now, if this one's not here, you can just pull this crank until it comes back across to you. Once you get it set it up once, it's going to be, you know, work every time for you because they'll be in the direction you want to be in. So, unless you manually run back to town, which would be a really bad idea. Okay. So, also, I would not recommend having the pawn do it because the pawn is slow as hell. It's better if you do it manually and just go ahead and spin the crank. Like I said, controller, you just spin the left thumbstick over and over again. It'll literally go like three to four times faster than letting the pawn do it. So, don't let the pawn do it. So, we're going to do this. You can see we're heading down to a tower down there. And knowing about this will save you so much time. Because we do need to go back and forth from the town. And using fairy stones is not really a smart idea because it's so expensive. So... Uh, this is going to be the best way to do this. Okay, so once you get here, you're going to have to uh, get your way, work your way over to another area. So the area we're trying to get to, it'll get, spit us out right here. So we went all the way from here, all the way to here. And there's just a little bit of road we got to follow. And there will be a campfire, a campsite right here. And that's our destination. So you'll have to fight some enemies along the way. Not too many, like two or three groups or something to get there. And that is our goal to get to right there. So once you get to your destination, it is going to look like this. Now, the reason we like going here is because sometimes at night when the enemies respawn, there's just an obscene amount of skeletons to kill that are really low level. Not really low level. Really weak. And give a ton of XP. So you're going to go here and you're going to make camp. And you're going to use those mundane camping kits. Now the reason we use mundane ones is because your goal basically is to get ambushed. And ambush, getting ambushed breaks the uh, tent a lot of the time. So you might as well use the cheapest one possible. So you're just always going to rest until nightfall. 
So that way, um, when the enemies actually respawn, you'll hopefully be able to get the skeletons that respawn, and then you'll be able to kill all them. But in the meantime, what happens is you get ambushed by these mid-game enemies every single time you sleep. And they give a crazy amount of XP. So you see right here that we got... Um, we can get from... Well, you can't really see very well right now, but because there's other ones mixed in. Those humans were not part of the ambush group. But the uh, goblin guys here give... Uh, and it might be some level higher level, but give 300 xp 400 xp something like that oh my god i'm just getting mauled by archers but yeah a lot of the enemies most of the enemy groups if not all the enemy groups here the wolves and the goblins and everything that spawn will be uh, uh will give you like three to five hundred xp per enemy killed so there's 400 xp there's 450 xp the other one was not part of the ambush group and the other thing is they'll give you your money back and some the random items they drop and stuff and just the money they drop it will basically give you your money back and some for the camping kits so I just go ahead and just keep repeating this and keep waiting till nightfall and just keep on farming out enemies for insane xp now i'm not 100 percent sure how much of this is level based i started doing this at level like 21 or something like that and it was all the same enemies but um okay here we go the night one so there's tons of enemies. So this is the goal right here. This was the night where the skeletons respawn. I think they respawn once every seven in-game days. And the skeletons will give you like four to 500 XP each. And there's just like a war going on basically. So it's like the best case scenario. So there's 480 XP. Um, if I kill another one, you'll see there's just every single one gets 400 to 500 XP. And so you do that. So the plus there's the... Um, XP from the random enemies that raid you, you raid your camp at night, but then every seven days you get all these skeletons back and they just give a crazy amount of XP. But there's a little bit more than just this, uh, because when the skeleton once the skeletons respawn, you know that all enemies in the area have respawned. So then once you clear the ones down low, God, I am just getting destroyed right now. Maybe just gonna try to talk while making a video. Once you kill all the ones down here. There's also a ledge above us, and you want to check up there, too, because a lot of times you get, um, like, zombies, basically, that spawn up there. And uh, those also give a ton of XP. So let me just go ahead and clear these ones real fast. Oh, there's just so many. we still got more to kill. And just remember, each one of these is 500 XP. Every four of the, these that we kill is effectively like killing a Cyclops. That's how broken this is for XP in the mid-game. Uh, unless you want to call this late game, but I mean, I got here like level 20 was farming, and I don't believe 20 to be the end game, so. Um, okay, so once all those are dead, Thank you. you can go over here and go up this, whoops, go up this ledge, and not always, but sometimes you go up here and there will be a bunch of zombies fighting bandits up here. And if that happens, which here they are, you can also farm out these guys on the seven day respawn. And they also give uh, 400 XP each. So there's these guys. There's a few bandits up here. And it's just an insane farm, basically. There's another 400, 400, 400, you know. Uh, I think some came up right behind us. So you're going to go back and... I can't even see them. There they are. All these auras. I can't even see anything. All right. Yeah, so then you'll just head back through or go over through this way. Oh, there's another one somewhere. Here he is. But yeah, so you see what I mean? It's pretty crazy. So I think just this one respawn day is like 5,000 XP or something like that of just enemies to just farm. And they're really easy enemies to kill too. So it's just kind of crazy. So you can go over here and drop back down or you can go back the way you came up, whichever way. And then head back to the camp. And if you come in this way, there might be another one or two skeletons that spawn over here. Just a little bit more XP to get. There we go. And then they're dealing with more up there, I think. We got some down here. We get the point, though. This area is just insane. So at once every seven days, you can just farm it, and then you go back to farming the camps. And that's why you want to bring as many camping kits as possible, because I would say 10 camping kits might last you for 15 to 20 days before they all break. If you're lucky, it'll be at 21 to three full cycles or something. But now we would just use the mundane camping kit. And we go back to the normal farming until the skeletons respawn. So rest till nightfall. That skips a whole day. And you repeat the process. And in seven days, you get to fight the giant horde of skeletons as well. And in the meantime, you get to fight 
ambushes almost every single night of enemies that also give you like 400 to 500 XP each. Assuming it's the level, like I said, assuming that the enemies that spawn are not based on your level. If they are based on your level and you're here at like level 10 or something, then it might be totally different enemies. I'm not 100% sure. I made it here at like level 20-ish, so. Uh, at least from level 20 and on, this this works just totally as intended. So, check it out. It's super insanely good. Uh, again, this spot on the map is right here. And it is the most broken area I found so far to farm XP mid-game. And you, you make gold while you're doing it, but the gold's not that great because you gotta buy so many uh, kits. When you run out of the campfire kits or whatever, just head back to the ropeway station too. Take that down to ropeway station, central station, and then go back to Batal or back Batal from there, and then stock up on more camping kits, and then work but your way back here with those things again, and then come here and kill everything again and again and again and again, and you just repeat that until you get as much XP as you want. I'm already level 30. I've done this for less than an hour probably, and gone from level like 22 or something all the way to level 30. So, uh, it's, it's just broken, guys. It's such an insane XP farm. Well, hope that helps you out, guys. If you're trying to level up your vocation levels or get vocation things unlocked or just level up your actual character level, this spot is the place to be. If I find better ones, I'll let you know. Or if I just find alternatives, I'll let you know, too. But, uh, that's it for this one, guys. Now you know the fastest XP farm I'm aware of so far in the mid-game in Dragon's Dogma 2.